Here's a very common problem given in geometry. I used to give problems like this to my students back when I was in the classroom. And it's a, what I call it is a triangle within a triangle using special right triangles, okay? So basically, we want to find the value of AB, BC, AD, AC, sorry, I went out of order there, and DC, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do here is notice. Now I kind of gave it away um, that we might be working with special right triangles, but the first thing I want you to notice is we don't have all the information we necessarily need yet to be able to identify the triangles that we're gonna work with. So if you look at this big triangle, triangle A, B, C, okay? You can see you've got a 30 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, which means this is a 60 degree angle. Okay, so the first thing I would do is write in that this is a 60 degree angle. And the reason is, you have two special right triangles here. You have two, well actually technically you have, you have um, three, um, but you have two small 30, 60, 90s. So this is 30, 60, 90, so A, B, D, and 30, 60, 90, C, B, D. And then of course you have the big one, A, B, C, which is also a 30, 60, 90, okay? So, we're going to use our knowledge of special right triangles to be able to find all the side lengths that it's asking for. So we're given BD is 6, okay? And if we notice, we have a 30, 60, 90 right here, and I'll, I'll even write our little ratio figure here. So we know it's x, x root 3, and 2x, okay? So if we have the long leg and we want to go to the short leg here, okay, we know that we need to divide by 3 and multiply by root 3. So we're going to do 6 divided by 3 and times root 3, okay? So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then times 3 is root 3, okay? So I'll actually put this in another color to make it easier to see. So 2 root 3 is going to be AD. So 2 root 3. 3 is going to be AD. So we went from long leg to short leg and we do that by doing divide by 3 multiply by root 3. So let's write that out over here. So AD is 2 root 3. Perfect. Okay, next one. We want to go to the hypotenuse here because it asks for AB at some point, okay? So when we have the short leg to get the hypotenuse, all we do is double it. We just double it. So basically it's, so this was the first part that we did here, so I'll block that off. Now for the next one, it's going to be 2 root 3 doubled. So you can think of it as 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3, which is 4 root 3. Or you can think of it as 2 root 3 times 2, which is 4 root 3. Either way, you think about it, it's 4 root 3, and I'll even box this one off too. So this is 4 root 3, okay? So that's going to be the measure of AB. Perfect. Now we're still looking for, let's see, I'll put check marks next to what we've done. So we've done AD and AB, okay? Now we're looking for BC, AC, and DC. So let's look at where they are. So BC, AC, and DC. Okay. So there's a couple ways we can approach this, and I want to stress that there's more than one way to find the remaining lengths that we need, okay? So I worked with this smaller triangle first, okay? I'm going to outline it in purple, okay? I went from long leg to short leg and then short leg to hypotenuse. That was easy, okay? I'll mark that off there. Now, if I were to say, oh, I want to go to BC next, what I can think about is I can think about this 30, 60, 90 that I'm outlining in blue. Whoop. And I have the short leg right here because it's across from the 30 degree angle. So if I want BC okay, which is the hypotenuse, I know to go from short leg to hypotenuse, I just double it. So if BC, or sorry, if BD is 6, if the short leg is 6, to get the hypotenuse, BC, I double it. So it's just going to be 12, okay? So B, so I'll put a check mark because we just did that. So BC equals 12. Now, if I want AC, okay, that's the, um, the long leg here of well, you know what? I think because I also need DC, I'm changing my mind here. I think because I also need DC, I'm just going to get it since I'm working with the blue triangle. I don't want to confuse you by kind of changing and looking at other triangles. So let's actually get DC next, okay? Okay. 
So again, look at the blue triangle, okay? Short leg hypotenuse, long leg. So to go from short leg to long leg, I just boop, multiply by root three. So this is gonna be six root three, okay? So DC is six root three. Okay, now all that's left is AC. Now what you may have realized is, look, I have AD and I have DC, so AC is just gonna be the two of them added together. So two root three plus six root three, and that's just gonna equal eight root three. Okay, so AC is eight root three. Again, listen to the way I say this. Two root three plus six root three is eight root three, okay? Perfect. Now, remember how I said there were multiple ways to get it? So we got AC by doing AD plus DC. Another way is, take a look at the giant 30, 60, 90, okay? Which is the whole outside ABC, okay? If you look at that one, this is your short leg. So how do you go from short leg to long leg? or sorry, whoops, short leg to hypotenuse, which is this whole thing here, short leg to hypotenuse, you double it. So four root three doubled is eight root three, okay? So this is a great way to check, is to come up with the answers um, in a different way. That's how you can check. Now, long leg, so we've got short leg again. I'm looking at the red triangle, triangle ABC. Short leg is four root three, long leg, okay? Short leg to long leg is gonna be short leg times root three. So four root three, times root three, okay, is gonna be four root nine, which is gonna be four times three because root nine is three, and that's 12, and look, that's 12. Okay, so that's another way to get BC. Um, and yeah, I mean, there might be other ways, I wasn't keeping track of which ways I showed you how to get, you know, the certain lengths, but there's multiple ways to do this in this, you know, I call it triangle within a triangle, and it's really three triangles. Your big red one, your really small purple one, and your medium-sized blue one, and they're all 30, 60, 90s. So, very good. Um, yeah, you should try some problems on your own. I think the best suggestion I would have is move the value around. What if I gave you this? What if I gave you this long piece? What if I gave you this piece here? You know, you could, I could give you any one of these values and you could solve the whole triangle as long as you know it's this special 30, 60, 90. Good job.